Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. The 63rd Annual Drama Desk Awards will take place on Sunday evening, June 3rd at Town Hall, once again hosted by Michael Urie. And we're here at Friedman's to meet some of this year's nominees. It's so exciting, you know, and also for a writer, any, everything that's not writing is a party. <laughs> any day that the writing is already done is a party day. So it's really fun for me to get dressed up and come out and see our cast here and it's just a, it's a pleasure. It's so exciting and surreal and I'm completely just honored to be nominated in these categories. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm freaking the hell out. I mean, I, I was just saying we started writing together in grad school five years ago and we wrote a song that was about Asian identity and pop music and one of our professors who we will not name was like, we do not write pop music, we write theater. And now, uh, five years later, K-pop is nominated for 22 awards this season, and we did a, an all-original score of only pop music about Asian identity, and it feels like vindication. <laughs> it feels good. What does this nomination mean to you? Uh, you know, it's really about, um, what it's most important is about projection for all of us. Like, the idea that projection design is a everyday player in the theater is so exciting and so great. It was great to be here for Here Lies Love a few years ago. It's great to be back now. Um, but for all of us, that there is a category is the most important thing. I, I think what I love the most is I got to design a little piece of West Side Story on Broadway for Hal Prince, which no one else has actually ever done for Hal as a director. Um, and I've always wanted to do West Side Story and never had a chance. So we did two songs from it, which was pretty good. But the whole thing was amazing. It was so interesting to kind of dive into the original scenery, which I don't normally do, and, and really figure out how they did it and what it was, and then distill that into something that we could put together into an evening. It, well, it's it's just sort of a validation. When you find a show and you fall in love with it, and then you find that other people are falling in love with it, then you get uh, a nomination like this. It just is a, a, a way of saying, wow, everyone kind of believes in what you're doing. It means everything to me because I have the best musical and it's up against the big guys like Mean Girls and my show is called Desperate Measures and these times call for Desperate Measures and it's a show that leaves everybody happy, everyone, everybody walks out wanting to see it again. I mean there aren't a lot of lyric awards out there, Hello Tony's, no lyric award for Tony's, so to get a lyric nomination is, uh, is very special, you know, the lyricists don't often stand out, so I'm excited. It, well, it honors all these people who have worked so hard, and uh, and I know there are people who are very knowledgeable about theater. So to be recognized by such a knowledgeable group of people is that much more of an honor. I think I told you opening night that you'd be on these award carpets, and you looked at me like I had three heads. Yeah, here I am. Little did I know what to expect with all this, but it's been really great and uh, super exciting, and nice to rub shoulders with a lot of the other nominees. It's very exciting. Uh, it's you know this this show has really taken off in a way that I don't think either of us necessarily expected, and uh, we're nominated for both the category of outstanding solo performance and uh, outstanding puppet design. Uh, and uh, you know you have to wear a lot of hats uh, when you're making a show like this. So that's really exciting to be to be recognized and uh, to get our our company out there a little bit. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's really exciting people around here. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, you know we're a, we're a downtown theater company. We've been uh, hustling on our own for a long time, and it's amazing to sort of see this kind of pop up and grab people. Oh, it's incredible. I mean, I think especially because the drama desk recognize off Broadway and on Broadway, and our show is off Broadway and in the fall. For it to get to this time of year and people to still have it in their minds is incredibly meaningful because the show is such a labor of love for us that that it's still stuck with people is really amazing. Oh, it's completely unexpected. I, I never imagined like uh, I would be here. It's just an incredible honor to be uh, included in such a wonderful company, and um, you know, to be recognized by the New York theater community. Uh, you know, we've both been uh, you know doing Yeoman's work for decades now. Time. Yeah, so like to. Um, I'm totally on board with that. I didn't. I thought I didn't even know they offered a drama desk for fight choreography. Kudos to the drama desk for recognizing that. And over the years, I mean, it's been a question mark for every reviewer right now because uh, of effects. People are tiring of their screens and so these real effects and the correct use of puppetry uh, mixed with actors is a real special treat for them. 
Well, you know, the Dramatists obviously are honoring both Off-Broadway and Broadway. And in my opinion, some of the greatest theater in New York is happening Off-Broadway. So it feels like an extra big honor, to be honest, to be recognized in that bigger pool with some of the awesomest, most innovative stuff that's out there. It feels really great. And it's a, it's a real uh, testament to what we made. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. This is my first time doing a Broadway musical. So be, to be acknowledged your first time out is just like, Wow, it's incredible, it's wonderful. And I love the vigor uh, and the work ethic of the company and the brilliance that they put on stage every night and the magic that they create, I think is just really special. I love being nominated for Drama Desk because I feel like these are my heart and soul awards because it's Broadway and Off-Broadway combined. And I'm an Off-Broadway baby. And, you know, again, to be nominated a kind of across the board in so many categories. That's what I love most is it's not about one person, it's not about one thing, it's about this crazy circus group of people we put together. Happy. Um, it's kind of astonishing. This is a, a small, quiet play about a single mom taking care of a sick kid, so it doesn't ha it doesn't scream commercial. And I'm so happy that the play and the production have gotten the recognition that they've been getting. Um, how I came to write it, I've been meaning to write a play for all women, and I wanted to write something um, about a woman's journey that's not about that's not about um, hysteria. That's about a sort of more positive take on a woman's life. Well, I was very surprised because I didn't expect it and it's such a small show compared to all the other shows that are nominated for Outstanding Choreography and I am excited also because I am coming from Germany and I've been living here in the US for 20 years and this is my first musical choreographing so I, it's been like wow, this is great. Knowing that the entire theater community is involved in this and it widens the field so much, so to be recognized, you know, among everyone is is truly special. And and also that I feel that our show was was so well represented and and acknowledged uh, that it, it it's really it means a lot. It's really special.